Jimmy Fallon have a drinking problem? We've got the details, but first, Justin Bieber completes probation, yes, and strips down to his underwear. Justin Bieber has officially completed his probation for that egg-tossing vandalism incident he's probably hoping we've forgotten about. The Biebs attended 12 anger management sessions and completed 40 hours of community service with a homeless shelter and a gang reduction and youth development center. He also paid over $80,000 in restitution. And it sounds like Bieber was a, quote, great worker who had no problem getting his hands dirty during his community service. Bieber's good news comes just as he releases his newest music video, I'll Show You, in which he does show us his Calvins. I'll show you. Does Jimmy Fallon have a drinking problem? The New York Post reports that NBC is worried the late night host's alcohol consumption is out of control. This after Fallon suffered three freak injuries in four months. Just last week, he needed stitches after he cut his hand when he fell holding a bottle of Jägermeister. In June, he nearly lost a finger after tripping on a rug at his home. He also chipped his tooth in August while trying to open a tube of scar tissue repair gel for his injured finger. In an official statement to the New York Post, NBC says simply that Fallon is, quote, a highly valued member of the NBC family who is both a tireless worker and an extraordinarily gifted performer. Bill Cosby has been ordered to give sworn deposition in the defamation lawsuit filed by Janice Dickinson. The supermodel filed court docs against Cosby for denying that he sexually assaulted her. Dickinson is one of dozens of women who have accused Cosby of sexual assault. He has denied all allegations and has never been criminally charged. Gwen Stefani is opening up about her divorce in a new interview with Carson Daly. As we reported, the pop star split from Gavin Rossdale in August after nearly 13 years of marriage. I mean, my life basically blew up in my face. Everybody knows that I was married forever, with, mm -hmm. and, and now I'm not. On the way to the studio that first time, like, I didn't want to go. Like, I wanted to be in my bed, like, crying. Mm -hmm. Now I'm, like, in this new life, and... It's pretty awesome, I have to say. Stefani's candid interview comes just as romance rumors heat up again about the singer and her fellow newly divorced musician, Blake Shelton. Word is the pair was spotted getting extra close during a Halloween shindig over the weekend. Another big star is opening up about an emotional subject. Brad Pitt speaking about his wife Angelina Jolie's choice to undergo preventative cancer surgeries in a rare interview. There was no vanity to my wife's approach. It was mature. She was doing it for her kids and she was doing it for her family. So we, keep, we could be together. Jolie had a double mastectomy in 2013 after finding out she had an 87% chance of developing breast cancer. And earlier this year, she had her fallopian tubes and ovaries removed. Bran and Jolina are about to hit the big screen together in By the Sea in theaters next Friday. Captain, request permission to... Tonight, if I'm wrong, if it's a trap, I want you here. Star Trek is making a bold move. It's coming back to TV. The new version of the beloved sci-fi show will introduce new characters and alien civilizations. It's due to hit the small screen in January 2017, but only on CBS's streaming and subscription service. As a recording artist, you are always reflecting on your own life. I think each album is like a chapter from a book that's never ending. And the newest chapter for Grammy winner Seal is Seven. It's a seventh studio album, mostly about love. It's one of the oldest muses, isn't it? And it never really, that said, it never really gets old because it's so dynamic. Me making a highly emotional record is a way of making a record that people can connect mm -hmm. with. Seal's new album drops Friday. All these changes. I love Seal. Remember to get your entertainment news first right here in the morning and anytime on Twitter at NCity.